Third down and one. And he'll hand it off on the end around. Sheffield lost it. Does Penn State have it? Yes, they do, Joey Porter. Well, him if you're the, the center is going to be under center and try to turn around and hands him. That's why he was trying to reach. And I don't think Sheffield ever really got that. As a pride of Lions lined up, and here they come. Finley rolling to throw. Look out from behind. Just had him, and he threw an interception. Yep. And that's exactly when you talk to the all have it. Give us another play. He waits too long, tries to do too much, and ends up being an interception as he gets hit, just as he's trying to get rid of the football. Wheatley with the interest. So Auburn's got something working here. They still got 115 to play with. That throw is complete as well. Their two-minute drill. Oh, the ball came out at the end. Covered by Penn State right now. Jonathan Sutherland's on top of it unless they say he was down. Catch. Let's take a look. Well, he threw it to the right guy. Let's see what happens. Oh, the and ball's out. It was King, yes. Number 11. And what, it was Carter. I'm sorry. It was Abdul Carter that came across and got his right. Chedrick Jackson up to the top of his screen. Finley in trouble again. And down he goes. And the ball is out. Penn State might have this. They say they do. And they do. Side, matched up against 68, gets it flushed, and then number 16 pops the ball loose. Jair Brown for the turnover. Chuck Robinson's the guy I think that finally covered at 44, as Gary said before. It's still sliding around, and then there comes 44. I'd make him throw a great throw. Let's see if he can. Fires, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tig Brown. And he's still going. So Tick Brown's going to be a late hit. 15 more yards tacked onto that. That is picture perfect. And, and you know, that might have been squeezed in. Their last drive because of a penalty. But third and seven is a tough spot to be in. Off the edge, blitz by Brown. And throws it up for Browns. That's not a good pass by Richardson. It's intercepted. And Zachy Wheatley on the return. Wheatley, two games in a row. An interception. Had one down against Oaks. First of all, they're working They're working in unison, right? Do they get pressure? And then Wheatley does a nice job playing basically center field and running that ball down. It was a poorly thrown ball. It hung in the air. We first down and had an incompletion on six straight first down throws. But on second down, they've been able to connect, but not here. Inside position and an interception for Penn State. He does this perfectly. And then you turn and run, eyeball the ball. He underthrew it, and Dixon makes a great catch. That's the don't get in your own way. Carlos Carrier, King, rips the ball out and recovers it. In man coverage, ball got to get out of your hand. Four-man rush. Holinsky up the seam. He's intercepted. That one's picked up by J.R. Brown. Brown to midfield. Flag. Their hands, given that they're wet, are going to be able to do everything. There's the low snap. Holinsky couldn't handle it. The wet football victimizes Northwestern. And going for the first time in the game. The low wet football snap creates a turn. Play action. Holinsky. Pocket collapses. He lost the football. It's a strip sack for the Nittany Lions. Harper, and you want Holinsky to have a little bit of better pace and feel in that pocket. But that's an awesome job of Tar Burton having great center this time. McCarthy sprints out of the pocket. And that one knocked away and picked off. Look at this. Curtis Jacobs down the sideline. Touchdown, Penn State. 48 yards. Kelly McManus with time. Ball is intercepted. That is Brown with the interception. Jair Brown now on the return. Hurtling a man. Fly for him to pick it up. It's extremely well covered there by Penn State defensively. They pass it off nice. Play action. Sorsby out of the pocket. Looking downfield. He's going to heave a deep ball. Underthrown and intercepted. He was hoping for Javon. This is really good by Kalen King. Quarterback breaks the pocket. He's got man, but also vision to the backfield. Finds the receiver. Realizes ball's been thrown down the field by Swordsby. Does a good job. Of a lot of scrimmage. And they're all coming. Tipped ball. And it's intercepted. The rush works to perfection for Penn State. And they get edge. 
hands up in the air, ball gets popped up in the air. Defense knows here comes the pressure, ball's gonna come out. High throw intercepted. Down to the five yard line goes Daquan Hardy. And it's first and goal, Penn State. Home is at their street. They've usually got nine to eight mission critical positions filled mm -hmm. by Texas players who either weren't recruited by Texas or for whatever reason has a chip on their shoulder. Yeah. Edwards, Edwards didn't get there. The ball is fumbled. It would have been over on downs anyway. Away with it as they uh, break up the uh, scrum here underneath. He's going to be slow to get up to. I think he's got an injured turf down on the ground. And that's, Let's hope it's not him. Tim, that, that looks pretty uh, not good. Hmm. Penn State fan, you were looking for a continuation of that success. Whips it inside of a minute left of the quarter. He finds Johnny Langan. And Langan got popped and the ball comes free. It is picked up by Kobe. The ruling of a fumble recovered by the defense is under further video review. That's a fumble. Yep. Whips it. Going down the sideline. Accepted. Johnny Dixon picked it off. Dixon is going to take it in. We asked Manny Diaz, what does it take to play a corner in your defense? And he said, courage. They're going to put him out there on an island in one on one. That time, Johnny Dixon in one on one coverage. If, if, if Wimson could put it out there, maybe it's a big play. But Wimson this year against an FBS opponent, this Rutgers offense. And this time, the ball is jarred free. Curtis Jacobs jarred it free. Jair Brown and Brown is going to score pitch. That's out. That's out. That's a clear fumble. And it was clear as day, really. Really, everyone's surprised except for, or everyone is on the same page except for the Rutgers on that, that efficient passing game. That's a great start to get the ball to Blake Cohen. Long swing, incomplete. He was looking for Reed. It looked like it dropped on the ground. The official up top is the one who signals it. Looking like the egg bowl right here. That is definitely backward. It's from Peyton Thorne's release. It's all about where is the ball. To me, that clearly went backward. Every player on the field. In the second half. Thorne feeling the pressure. Thorne lofts it up. Intercepted. Right on cue, it's Kalen King. Interference on Barker that, you know, they didn't call because Kalen King gets it, gets it done. Great. Tied into the country before he went down. And rising loops a throw, and it's going to be picked off. That is Kalen King, the elite corner. And rising pace for that decision. Slot fade. You better be careful going against four. I brought it up earlier. Elite ball skills. Great job of sensing that fade. Gets his head turned around, eyes on the football. And then there's the ball skills to come up with the first turnover. Another high snap. Pulls it down and lofts it down. Field. Bailey. And it's intercepted. Lofted it up there. And Jair Brown makes the pick. The second of the day for the line. Pick Brown or Tick Brown to come over and make that easy interception. So not seeing the depth of the safety or where he is aligned pre-snap.